not your fault. Eric. Eric. Eight months. Eight months for what? For this? He made a mistake. Yeah, you go tell that to his wife. We'll get him next time. There won't be a next time. I want the transfer. Look, why don't you just take some time off? I don't need any time off. You don't look good in uniform. Eric, it is a dumb career move. Damn it! I can't do this anymore, Eddie! I need the transfer. Nah, you need a holiday. Why don't you take the wife and kid? Lindy and... walked out on me. Well, going north is not a substitute for marriage counseling. Look, you owe me. Sir. Seven fifteen a.m. We've got a rare glimpse of Vancouver sunshine this morning. Don't get too fond of it. Clouds with rain on the way by the noon hour. High today fifteen. Tomorrow should see a high near twenty. Make plans for outdoors this weekend. Mid twenties temperatures expected by Saturday. Right now we're at ten degrees in downtown Vancouver. A check on more. You wanted a small town. I got us a small town. So what if it's eight months later? I said we were going, and we go. Because you just don't walk out in the middle of a major drug case. She knows that. Just let me talk to her, Karen. Tell her to pick up the phone. And tell her I'm going up north and I want her and the kids to come up with me. Just tell her, okay? Excuse me, have you seen a Corporal Jackman around? Michelle is coming to pick you up. Oh. You called the detachment, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, hey! My niece threw up on me, that's why I'm out of uniform. Who are you? Michelle! Constable Michelle Kennedy. That's my daughter, Hannah. What are you doing? Didn't they tell you it's a dry settlement? No, but this is, this stuff's for me. Dry means dry for everybody. Don't worry, I'll take care of it for you, buddy. <laughs> Ah! 
Where's Corporal Jackman? Where? Uh, he had to leave. What for? He was sick. Who's gonna brief me? Me. So when's your family coming? I don't know yet. How old's your daughter? Seven. What's this? Your house keys. That's where you live. So, uh, how come you're back in uniform? Are they punishing you? For what? The screw up on the drug case. Hey. I asked for this posting. Okay? Sure. In case the kids get sick or something. Would, would you just would you just ask her? To, would you just ask her to pick up the phone, Carol? Lindy? Look, Carol, I just want. Okay, fine, fine. Yeah. The number here is 403-555-9092. Yeah. Thanks. Face. You're not Gord. No kidding. What are you doing in Gord's house? Ah, oh. oh, I only had a little bit, Gord. I'm not Gord. Gord. It's not my fault, Gord. Shut up. I love her. You gotta pee, Gord. I'm really happy for you. Shall I assume the position? Well, you're a doctor. Nurse practitioner. Sarah Burkett. Eric Olson. You keep this 
stuff here all the time? My safe's busted. What are you doing? He's got chronic pancreatitis, and that's a whole lot of pain. I warned you, Leon. I only had one drink. Right. It must have been contaminated or something. Okay, and take this one after supper. I want to see you in my office tomorrow morning. Can I go? Who hit you on the ear? Rosie, his wife. I want to talk with Miss Rosie. Gord always let me go in the morning. I'm not Gord. This a regular thing? Sorta. Of. Rosie went dry, Leon can't. You should just let him go. Oh, and uh, I'll need some plywood. TV's busted my windows again. Who? Trevor Victor Tanya. Everyone calls him TV. He's a... Uh... Vandal. Michelle's looking after him. Corporal Olson, RCMP. She knows who you are. TV show He's not here. I like to be involved in investigations. Anything else beside the window? Siphon gas out of a couple of boats. How do you know it was him? Sometimes it's serious, sometimes it's not. Mostly it's just a pain in the ass. Sometimes we should do something about it. Like what? Well, I don't know what type of shop you and Gord have been running up here, but I can tell you. Nijindi, quick, get the leg up! Nijindi, quick! Nijindi, quick! Leave me alone. Hold it. Here, waiting for the bad guys to come to you? Nowhere to go unless he's got a plane. I can't believe it. I can't believe this whole goddamn place. No wonder Gord pulled out. Gord didn't pull out. Gord tried to kill himself. You're soaking wet.
Haven't worn a uniform in two years. Two days was enough. I got to take Anna to Sarah's. Got a minute? What do these numbers mean? Sunrise and sunset. Gord had a thing about daylight. Yeah. Blood compartments, speakers, door assemblies. He thought he heard voices in the truck. So he... Hi, Hannah. Hi. So he flipped out. This wasn't the right place for him. Well, how come they didn't take him out? He talked them out of it. And you didn't tell him? Everything that needed to get done, got done. Listen, if you want to change your uniform, it's okay with me. Someone's got to show the flag. Undercover. Wanna go swimming? Peavy's gonna show you all the good spots. down Main Street. Lots of donuts. You got a problem or something? Not really, no. <laughs> Good. So, Mr. Harris Smeller, what does a band manager do when he's not giving money? He's a hard time. Oh, makes things happen. Tries to find the money to put the power back where it belongs. Is that right? Yeah. Well, self-government's on the way. Native economy, native justice, native culture. Run by a white guy. <laughs> I don't run anything. I'm just hired help. Thanks, Rosie. So where do they fit into this new world order? Bring in the satellite dish, spread around some Detroit culture. That's what you're gonna get. Oh, some little buggers. You'll never catch them. Take him to the Hay River. 
See if I can get him some time in a correctional center. He busted some windows. He's a punk, and I want him out of here. Overdue charges. Oh, oh, no, neither. Serious young man you've got there. He's a good boy. You're married to Leon, right? Yeah. Listen, can I talk to you? Corporal Olson. Congratulations. Jerry Kisilenko. I run this place, Motel 2. You nailed TV. Until now, the only thing enforced around here were the liquor laws. Explain leaves twice a week. Hey, somebody's got to stick around here and make sure the bills get paid. They sure as hell won't. Anyway, it's nice to have you with us. Anytime you want a search warrant, just let me know. Excuse me? Justice of the peace. kids <laughs> that's great yeah so how come you wouldn't talk to me what then you don't say that it's not then you... can you hang on a second please Listen, you're gonna love it up here. It's everything. You... Because I couldn't leave then, you know that. Well, I'm up here now, all right? Doesn't that mean anything? Six months, Lindy, that's all I'm asking you for. What the hell are you talking about, a divorce? Lin Lindy, are you. Cr this is. Lindy! Lin don't you hang up with me! Lindy! TV. There's nothing to talk about. Well, we don't think it's a good idea for you to take him to Hay River. This is my brother, Peter. He's the band chief. Well, Peter, theft, vandalism, assault, kids acting up, abuse of controlled substances, kids overdue. He wants to go to Hay River. He wants out. He wants what he sees on television. Well, the law is the law. The law, my friend, is your law, not ours. An officer can exercise his discretion in the interest of community relations. Sure. OK. But I'm remanding him into your custody. I'm on my way to Wolverine Lake. Lois will take care of him. I'll get the papers. Did you see 
showed you a good time in the river, man. Good indeed, Lee. What the hell is this? I'm talking to you! Same feelings, River. I'm sorry he's not here right now. Can I take a message? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll tell him you called. I could sue the bastard. You could also smarten up. Lucky he didn't kill you. It's not like the movies, Grandma. It's just a lousy cop. What do you know from Ajira Kadindi? Kimo Dina Show, Laho Adindi. All you know is how to make trouble. Make trouble, get trouble. Someone ought to tell him that. Hello. He hasn't moved. Eric? Look at me, please. Another basket case. Who are you calling? Michelle, give him a chance. Beg your pardon. If you call Yellowknife, he's finished. He is finished. Give me a chance. Let me try. Hey, hey, whoa. God, I'm on who did that. Olsen. Jeez. TV's gonna sue. It's like that guy in Miami Vice when Crockett, like, punched him out and the guy yelled, police brutality. Where is he? Out. Out where? What do you want? I want to break his goddamn neck. Now, where is he? Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Peter. Hi, Sam. Willie took my axe. I'll talk to him. I got a lot of wood to chop. You said she talked to him. I'll be over soon. So you're gonna defend this one too, eh? Look, 
We don't need these guys. You do the work, you've always done the work. I've heard this speech. Yeah. But it's not getting through, is it? You want to leave him a message? Yeah. Tell him I called the council meeting. Tell him he can start packing his bags. If you stay like this, they're just gonna come and ship you out. And that's ducking. However bad you think it is, Eric, what you're doing is worse. My dad came home one day and told my mother he was leaving, moving in with his secretary. He walked out, she went upstairs to bed. To just lie there. So I sat outside of her bedroom door for like two days. I was 10. I didn't know what to do. So I called the operator. The police came, the ambulance came. And they took her out of the house on a stretcher. <laughs> and all the kids in the neighborhood <laughs> were on their porches watching. <laughs> It took her a year to get out of that hospital. A year. Oh, nobody's got that kind of time to waste. Okay, the mode is a problem. So is TV. TV got in Olsen's way. Could just as easily been anybody else. Not true. That kid goes looking for trouble. Could have been Leon. That's like Olsen don't care who they go after. We need to hear his side. Why? We all know what happened. Everyone in town needs to hear him. And you should hear them. I say we call a meeting. All in favor. So, you want to leave it at that? What's that supposed to mean? What that means is I pick up the phone, make an anonymous call to RCMP Yellowknife, and he's out of here. No one has to know who called. I'd know. It's just a thought. I'm going to ask you one more time. Please look at me.
<laughs> I really hate him, Bobby Knight. I really whacked him. Come all the way up to the Northwest Territories to beat up on a kid. So what happens now? I pack. Look, I shouldn't even be here. I made them send me. I made them send me. I want to get as far away from Windsor as I possibly could. This is a good place. <laughs> Not for me. Look, you knew why you were coming up here. I was just trying to... Get your family back? That's okay. Julian. You a quitter? Just asking. You ever been married? No, I didn't think so. Oh. It's, uh, more complicated than that, right? Right. Right. Look, I didn't mean it that way. I hope you work things out. We all know why it is we're here. Does anybody have anything to say? I don't even know why we're having this meeting. I think we should boot his ass out. The guy's a maniac, okay? What he did is, like, against the law. He wants to make trouble, he'll get trouble, as far as I'm concerned. You got something you want to say to everybody, Elsie? I got a right to express my opinion. You expressed it. Now sit down. I want to say, we don't know this man Olsen. We don't know who he is. He was catching the drug people in Vancouver. Bad people. So he comes here with his Vancouver head, and he finds my grandson looking like those drug people and acting like a stupid kid. I'm not saying Olsen should have done what he did, but you can't change the inside of your head in one day. How are you feeling? Better, thanks. Don't thank me. I was gonna call Yellowknife. So why didn't you? Sarah. Mostly. The band council's called a town meeting. You're supposed to go over and explain yourself. <laughs> Forget it. If I uh, get out, they'll fly me out tomorrow. Can you cover for a few days? I'm sure your life will be able to get someone in here by Friday. I'll make sure you get acting pay. Yeah, I guess I'm just about everything you're thinking. You don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I give up that easy, I'd still be a drunk sleeping in the bush. He, he doesn't know the North. He doesn't know this community. He just doesn't care. I met 20 guys like him in northern Alberta. We didn't think you were going to make it. I wasn't. To all of you, the 
I brought a lot of problems up here with me, and I had no right taking them out on TV or anyone else. I'm gonna do my best to make sure the next guy does a better job for you. Sorry. Got a minute? Uh, yeah, sure. Come on in. We took a vote after you left. You can stay if you want to. Think about it. I don't get it. The visit from the old ladies. What's to get? Why? Most everybody in this town's healing. One more is no big deal. How would you feel about me staying? Okay. French? Kevin, leave his toolkit here? Well, what do you need? The big pipe wrench. Mm, check his office. Yeah, RCMP headquarters? Yeah, uh, is the inspector there this evening? Yes, sir. Uh, I see. Um, well, could I speak to whoever's in charge then? Uh, no, no, I think I'd rather just... Uh... What? Oh, Michelle? Working late? I just thought that, um, I mean, why should he get the big bucks? You run this detachment. <laughs> just trying to help. Michelle, uh, could you, um, don't tell Peter, okay? I'm asking. You be careful. It's 10.30. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just out walking around and, uh... Can I come in? No. I, I just thought... You did, huh? <laughs> uh, maybe another time. 
They, uh, said I could stay. And they think I'm screwed up. 